Philip Schofield was once a beloved TV icon, sharing the screen daily with Holly Willoughby on This Morning. But now, following his scandalous exit from ITV, the narrative has shifted dramatically. With accusations flying and friendships shattered, Schofield has emerged from the shadows once more, aiming subtle digs at his former colleague Holly Willoughby. The question now is, who's telling the truth, and where does this feud go from here? It's a scene that could have come from a soap opera rather than the world of daytime TV. Philip Schofield, 62, was spotted in high spirits, laughing and dining with familiar faces at a posh Mayfair restaurant. This was his first public appearance since branding his former co-host Holly Willoughby the Witch, a scathing nickname that has reignited their long-running feud. Once inseparable on-screen friends, Schofield and Willoughby's relationship has deteriorated to a bitter, public spectacle that has played out across headlines and social media. Schofield's recent comments have brought fresh drama to a saga that shows no sign of cooling down. For over two decades, Philip Schofield was a mainstay on British TV, charming audiences with his wit and easygoing manner. But the facade began to crumble last year when he abruptly stepped down from this morning, leaving a void in the show and raising questions about what had really happened behind the scenes. Shortly after, Schofield admitted to having an affair with a much younger colleague, an affair he had previously lied about to ITV, his agents, and even to Willoughby, his longtime co-host. This revelation marked the beginning of his downfall, but it also exposed the cracks in his relationship with Holly, who was left stunned by his deceit. The two were once like siblings, with their families vacationing together and sharing countless moments on screen. Yet, that close-knit bond seems irreparably damaged, especially after Schofield's latest outburst. During his appearance on Channel 5's Cast Away, Schofield didn't hold back. He accused a trio of his former ITV colleagues, including Willoughby, of betrayal, alleging they played a role in orchestrating his exit. Describing them as, he claimed that while he was under fire, they failed to support him, with Holly even distancing herself to protect her own brand. According to insiders, Schofield now refers to Willoughby as the witch and even uses a witch emoji when talking about her with friends. This scathing moniker marks a sharp departure from the affectionate terms he used in the past, like TV sister and rock. Sources close to Schofield suggest that he felt Holly's lack of public support was a calculated move, accusing her of staging a well-constructed coup along with ITV bosses to oust him. This claim has been met with skepticism, with others pointing out that Schofield's career didn't unravel because of anyone else, it fell apart due to his own dishonesty. According to industry insiders, Holly was simply reacting to the revelations as they unfolded, blindsided like the rest of the nation when the truth came out. Yet, Schofield's perspective is different, he insists Holly knew more than she let on, and he's taken issue with how quickly she distanced herself from him when the controversy became a threat to her own reputation. One of the key issues at the heart of this bitter fallout seems to be Schofield's brother, Timothy, who was convicted of heinous crimes against a minor. While Holly and ITV were aware that there was a trial coming, Schofield did not disclose the full extent of his brother's offenses. Despite their close relationship, Holly claims she was kept in the dark, and her team has remained adamant that she knew nothing of the details until they became public. This revelation reportedly devastated Holly, who felt betrayed that Schofield had lied to her, but Schofield's supporters paint a different picture. They allege Holly was supportive behind the scenes, even comforting him when he first disclosed his brother's legal troubles, but turned her back when the association became bad for her image. Amid all this, Schofield's recent public appearance with Giles Brandreth and his wife Michelle Brown in Mayfair seemed to show a man trying to move past his tumultuous past, even if only momentarily. The trio was seen laughing and embracing, a stark contrast to the dark cloud that continues to hang over Schofield's career. While he's no longer in the limelight at ITV, Schofield's return on Cast Away suggests he's not done yet. During the show, he subtly referenced the infamous Q-Gate scandal, hinting that his trouble started long before his brother's conviction, and subtly blamed ITV management and his former colleague for not having his back when he needed it most. Holly, for her part, has remained largely silent amid these new accusations. Sources close to her describe her as annoyed by Schofield's attempt to rewrite history, insisting there's no truth to the notion that she manipulated events behind the scenes. 
To her supporters, this is just another attempt by Schofield to deflect blame for his own failings. But to Schofield, it's a personal vendetta, a battle to clear his name after he believes he was unfairly thrown under the bus. As tensions between the former friends continue to escalate, ITV has also been drawn back into the fray, with Schofield reportedly filing new complaints to the network's senior bosses. The story of Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby is no longer just about a TV partnership gone wrong, it's a tale of betrayal, ego, and the cost of fame. What was once a solid friendship has crumbled into a bitter feud that's being played out on a very public stage. While Schofield attempts to reclaim his place in the spotlight, his accusations against Holly paint a picture of a man still searching for closure, even if it means burning the few bridges he has left. As the drama continues to unfold, one thing is clear, this is a story that's far from over, with each twist revealing just how deep the rift between these two former friends has become.